right, everybody. Welcome to our Borderlands Headhunter DLC pack Let's Play. I'm Robert. And I'm Patrick. And Patrick needs to invite me to his game. <laughs> Are you really going to play with your 72 Siren? It's the closest character I've got to your 53. No way. You've got to have a higher one or a lower one. The next lowest is 45. That's a lot better than 72. Mm, well, if you really want... The problem is he's also a commando. Having uh, two commandos is kind of boring. I'll just use my pistols. And you can use uh, whatever else. Besides, on this DLC, you'll probably want my healing. All right, so we're playing the Bloody Harvest Headhunter DLC, and we gotta go find TK Jeez. Baja. What's wrong with your face? What's wrong with your face? This is one of the heads you can get from the Headhunter pack. The uh, Moxie's uh, Valentine's Day something or other. But it is kind of gr uh, grody, so I'm, I'll use a different one. No, that's ugly, ugly... Ugly. I'm hoping all of the heads go on sale again. <laughs> oh, sweet. I've got Nisha's skin for Borderlands pre sequel. How about that, guys? How'd you get that? Just off of Facebook. Yeah, I wonder if Jesus should do that. Ooh, I like that camo outfit. I got the patient's outfit. Check that out. Mm. Check me out. Oh, yeah, I like, your, I like that. <laughs> Is this one of the DLC um, or pre-sequel skins? Yeah. This patient's My, uh, one that I'm wearing? Or No, it's not. It must be something else. Axton's dressed up as, amusingly enough, Athena, who's actually a woman. Uh, zero is claptrap. Um, what's his name? Salvador is Wilhelm. Gage is Moon Moxie, and I forget who um, Krieg is supposed to be. Cool. All right, let's go Jeez, find. It's been almost a year since I played this game. I'm gonna have to remember how to play. Let's go find our old friend TK Baja. What equipment do I have on? Uh, you don't even know what equipment you have on. It's Borderlands. A gun has to be firing at some point. Alrighty, here we go, finally. This is a short DLC, isn't it? Yeah, pretty short. <sighs> as most missions are concerned in Borderlands oh, 2. I thought he was dead. Lately, a real <laughs> well, sourpuss he named is, the technically. has been hassling the townsfolk. They're so scared these days, they won't even step outside. Why don't you get out there and give them the old one-two for me? Now, I haven't hey, actually played Borderlands 1. So, what happened to poor TK Baja? Well, he got killed by some bandits, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's too bad. See this candy? This yellow candy makes you faster. Ooh, I ate candy. See? Let's go. And <laughs> now you're way ahead of me. <laughs> oh, I smashed a I forget candy. what the orange candy does. Oh, or the red candy. Power! Power! Unlimited power! Oh yeah, I better use a different weapon. The resistance fire. How are they? Yep. And I just so happen to be wielding all of my fire weapons. I have to change that. Oops, didn't want to throw that out. Uh, 
Ah, my electric shotgun worked pretty well. And yeah, I should probably uh, get out my uh, my rocket launcher. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys see this overpower eight equipment? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I just have to find some stuff I can actually use. <laughs> So, yeah, the Headhunter DLCs are some of the last DLC for Borderlands 2. As most of you probably know, Borderlands the pre-sequel is on the way, and it'll be here in about a month and a half or so, give or take. Why do I still have this gun? It's useless. And uh, they're basically just meant to be little DLCs so that your uh, Vault Hunters could go on for adventures and to hang out with the characters of Borderlands 2 one more time and just generally uh, have fun and shoot things and loot things just like always this one is of course Halloween themed the giant moon or what's the moon's name that it was revealed in Borderlands pre-sequel Elvis Elpis yeah and the Hyperion space station up there. I was kind of hoping we'd get a DLC where we'd go uh, blow the thing up. Like at the end of uh, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Where Maya's like, hey, you guys want to blow up a moon base? Yeah, I was always wondering why they never got around to doing that. There was never a DLC for the moon base or anything like that. And I've always been like, well, why not? Maybe it'll be in Borderlands 3. Okay, no, seriously, are you done picking out your equipment yet? <laughs> yeah. You're just lucky as a siren, my bullets can heal you. <laughs> well, that certainly helps that I have no ammo. Nice. Oh, this is a dead end. It is, isn't it? Ooh, okay, check it out. On the other side of that gate. See this orange pumpkin I'm aiming at? Yeah. If we find and shoot all of the orange pumpkins, we'll unlock a treasure room. Oh, I but don't follow that just yet. We gotta kill some other things. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, horseradish. The king wow. then must have cast a locking spell on this gate. Ugh. You're gonna need an enchanted skeleton key. Why don't you dig up some graves and let's find ourselves some enchanted bones? TV you skeleton hear? key. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I see what you <laughs> did there, TK Baja. That looks like an enchanted skeleton right there. Oh, are you kidding me? You got the enchanted skeleton on the first try. Seriously? You'll be able to go toe to toe with the pumpkin kingpin himself. Slag. Ah, I slimed myself. Anna yells at me when I slime myself. I think you were supposed to say that's what she said. <laughs> well, I'm terrible. Oh, stay still. All right. Okay, see this church here? Yeah, I can see If the we uh, get all those orange pumpkins, orange yeah. glowing pumpkins, the door will open to a treasure of fabulous loot. So we gotta keep an eye out for them. Folks, Marydale must have been normal time people. We're gonna need the bones of wizards to create a working skeleton key. Keep on looking. I didn't, I didn't know wizards existed outside of Tina's uh, bunkers and badasses games. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think I remember where the wizard's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure he's over here. You know, I like playing as the Siren, but I gotta admit, dual turrets is pretty handy. I love the dual turrets. Okay, yeah, as I thought. The wizard we're looking for is over here. So what do you think so far? I like it. You done found another yeah. enchanted skeleton. I haven't been this happy since that time I got killed. <laughs> He was happy to get killed. That doesn't make any sense, DK Baja. Great! Only one more bone piece left, and then you can make yourself a skeleton key. Ooh, you got one on fire. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh no, wait, never mind. Oh, there's one. All right, that's two orange pumpkins down. <laughs> it's like, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be like entirely canon to Borderlands 2, because this town looks like really weird, even what for Pandora. <laughs> oh, yes. How do you like Marcus the Third here? Yeah. <laughs> that is an amazing drag queen. And you know what's really creepy about those paintings? What? If you look closely, you'll see that their eyes hey, are following you. you found the last oh, seriously? Skeleton. Dude, why do why you, you keep getting the enchanted skeletons on the first try? It always used to take me ages to get these damn things. I'm awesome. The game knows I got a wedding reception to go to tonight, too. <laughs> Another sentry kill! Enchanted bones, why don't you head to the blacksmith's and forge yourself a skeleton key? While you're there, tell Sully the blacksmith that I said hi. Hmm. Just take the parts to the blacksmith and he'll forge it for you. Do we really think it's going to be that easy? <sighs> nope. You like that? to play as the uh, uh the bandit the what bandit the what's his name um oh master crasher basher krieg krieg there we go i still haven't really played as him either the one i want to play with is, is the necromancer but i just Man. don't have the time to sync a whole bunch more time into playing the game three more times, so I'm thinking someone should power yeah. level me one of these days. Gage is definitely best girl. Sorry, Maya, but, well, Gage is a redhead and she likes robots, so... It's a win in my book. Well, that's scary Jaws. All right, let's go in and see Sully. Hello. Why don't you ask him for his hammer, would you? I'm sure he'll hand that it over if you ask him nicely. Hard. Yeah, I'm totally sure he'll just hand it over just like that. Let us down! Sounds like you two are done talking, huh? I was sure he'd come <laughs> around. Nevertheless, you better get that hammer. All right. Now, smack those bones together and forge yourself a skeleton key. <laughs> yep. So how about being a blacksmith one day and then getting taken over by giant thing, monster, alien, uh, 
Yep, sometimes living on Pandora just sucks. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you can find the pumpkin kingpin's lair and make the rivers run orange with pumpkin guts. Time to train. That actually sounds kind of gross, like more gross than regular blood and guts and stuff. Why did I never get this skill till now? The what? Quick charge, kill skill, killing an enemy and causes your shields to quickly regenerate for a short time. Don't know why I never got that one. Because my bullets can heal you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got the skeleton key, and now we gotta go find the pumpkin kingpin's lair. Is it gonna be all that easy? Just... Nope! You really should start giving away all these, like... Things. Well, this is Borderlands 2. It's not... When has anything in this game ever been So Robert been twisted my arm to play this. I have, like, no desire to play this. That's not true. I've wanted to get around to playing it. I just haven't. Well, uh, let's see, I think another one of those orange pumpkin heads should be around here. Oh. oh no! I'll save you! Keep calm! My guy was gonna die! I should know what that's a reference to, or what I forget at the moment. Oscar Mike. O M. On the move, man. On the move. Ah. Oh, here's one. I knew one of those orange pumpkins was around here somewhere. There's five of them, huh? I think so, yeah. Five or six. And then I think you're supposed to shoot one from here. Oh, I already got that one. Never mind. So we have three down then? Yeah. Now I just got to find the other two or three. Can't remember which. Oh, yeah. Have you ever used this cauldron of blood here? No. I didn't even see this till now. You're supposed to toss in a gun, a shield, and a grenade, and then you'll get something out of it. Well, unfortunately, everything in my inventory is somewhat needed and wanted. Uh, let me see if I've got anything I can get rid of. Ah, let's see. I've got well, at least one gun I can get rid of, I think. Or maybe not. Actually, yeah, I can get rid of this. I got a gun that I can get rid of. Well, I don't have anything else to throw in there. All right, let me see if I got a shield I can get rid of. Problem is, I got a buttload of weapons. Nope, no grenade. Wait. Oh, yes, I can throw that away. Let's see what we get. We got a chest! Is that a rocket launcher or a shotgun? It's a rocket launcher. Is it any good? Oh, I'll equip it. Let's find out. How about that, folks? Making guns with alchemy and dark magic. <laughs> Blood for the blood god! Seems kind of cool. Alright, let's go get that pumpkin kingpin.
Yeah, it's pretty effective, I'd say. Well, don't waste all your ammo in one place. Do you ever feel like melee in this game is just utterly useless, other than zero? Yeah, my siren melee is pretty effective. Especially since, you know, I can use to throw a ball of slag. <laughs> We're coming for you, man! We're coming for you! Whoa, check it out, little pumpkin dudes! Huh. Hey, there's one of those little pumpkins. Alright, there's one down. Oh, you got it? Nice. Little pumpkin dudes chasing you though. Whoa, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Must be a boss fight if we have to jump off to the edge. Huh. The pumpkin patch. This is definitely where the pumpkin kingpin lives, but he ain't here. Must be sleeping underground or something. Oh! I bet if you flooded the area, you'd probably have to come up for air. Go on and head to the windmill. Oh, you didn't think it was over yet, did you? <laughs> well, keep an eye out for those special... Oh, candies. I am. That's a pipe leaking blood. <laughs> it is, isn't it? This is not a very sanitary place. Definitely not for kids. Hey, 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 watch this. <laughs> oh, Axton, now you're disgusting. Hug me. No, get away from me. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. The windmill ain't working, is it? Oh, great horny toads. Must uh -oh. be the scrap nesting up there in the blade. Those abominations there were made by good you old Dr. Me Zed. Misses? Speaking of which, have you seen Zed or Ned lately? <laughs> what about Ted? Yes. Oh, <laughs> wait. I'm so sorry. We ain't supposed to talk about the forbidden brother. My bad. Another turn, oh, kill. forbidden brother, really? I can take you off! Um, I don't remember which <laughs> one the forbidden yes. brother was. More of that! Well, Dr. Ned was kind of a necromancer, wasn't he? That a girl! One of the first Borderland DLCs. Yeah. Now, you might recall there was a previous mission in the main game to help Dr. Zed actually create the Scrax. Us Vault Hunters probably should have known better, but hey, he was paying us. What were we supposed to do? Halloween Hollow Farms. Oops. Ah. Oh, I guess this is the wrong windmill. No, it's just I already took care of the other nest up there. Oh. I can't navigate today. I'm such an expert player at this game, aren't I? The Spikos and Scrag tell legends of the creature who kicked him out of the Iridium Blight. Said there was a real big, small or normal sized man or woman. And that there was one to four of them. The legends are pretty vague. Or in other words, it was totally us Vault Hunters. Wait, I missed the legend. What did he say? He said that the Spikos and Scrack tell legends of the creature that kicked him out of the Iridium Blight. It was a large, medium, or small-sized man or woman, and there was easily one to four of them. The legends are kind of vague. Oh, yeah. Any more pumpkins around here? Um, there might be. i keep an eye out for them. Man, I just need better gear all around. 
That's why you gotta like, get to level 72, boy. And then to overpower eight. <laughs> I think I'm on overpower four currently. What's the overpower? It's overpower levels that you gain um, from doing the Digistruct Peak challenge. Uh, so what do those levels give you just... But you can only do it once you're level 72. Got a few vampires in town and, well, they make milkshakes out of blood. I had one once. It was all right. <laughs> I, just, I just love how he says that so casually. We got some vampires in town and they make milkshakes out of blood. And I had one once. It was all right. 